water signs it's Nicola so let's see what messages we have this is first January the 24th 2019 what do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus January the 24th 2019 Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus what messages do we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus January the 24th 2019 Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus January the 24th, 2019. Let's see what we got. Ooh, three of cups. So it could be um, a reconciliation. It could be a reunion of some sorts. What's under here? King of cups. So someone could be expressing how they feel. There could be a reconciliation here or a reunion of some sorts. Hierophant here. Um, Queen of pentacles. Four of cups. Yo, some of y'all are dealing with a Taurus. You're making a decision. You're deciding between a Taurus and a Capricorn. <laughs> Okay, then, okay, then, if not, decide between a, car, a Taurus and a Capricorn, or this has something to do with a Taurus and a Capricorn, maybe a missed opportunity here. Someone has a fear, wanting to control the situation, wanting to keep something bound, third party. So someone may be, whoa, whoa. So this may be um, a decision that's being made about love. Someone's making a decision about love, and there can be a reunion here, third party. Water signs, what do you have going on? What is here? What is here? What is here? What is here? Hmm. So someone is not happy here with the decision that is being made. Some And listen, whoever this is with this ego here, they are holding on mighty tight. Like you breaking your own knuckles trying to hold on to a situation. You need to identify what it is that you want and love and extend your energy toward that. Some of you guys need to get out and have some more fun. Go towards something different. Um, and I'm saying that because this is clearly, and y'all only read what I say, but this is clearly someone unhappy by a decision, by someone's decision to move towards something else. You're learning about relationships. You're learning about foundations. You're learning about happiness. So this is a test for you. This is a test. Some of you guys are in the midst of a test. You need to release the ego. Yes, you may have missed an opportunity. Yes, there was some confusion around a situation. You need to release the ego and make the decision to come into union with yourself. Um, extend your energy toward what makes you happy or who makes you happy because you have a confusion about what it is that you want. So you may be holding on to something that you don't want. Um, holding on to a relationship. This is clear. So you may be holding on to a marriage, holding on to a relationship. And this is out of ego, out of fear, out of anxiety. Um, why is the Hierophant here? Which in this case is a teacher. So the Hierophant here, you're needed to teach yourself, Queen of Cups here, Chariot, Cancerian energy, how to make adjustments past fear. So this is your test. Some of you guys are in the midst of a karmic test. You're not happy by decisions that have been made, um, but now that decisions have been made, because whatever was in the dark now, you see clearly it's to the light. So now you do need to make adjustments. Ace of Swords, yeah, whatever was in the dark is now light. You need to make you, Queen of Cups here, Cancerian energy needs to make adjustments. <sighs> Someone is also fearful of adjustments that are being made within the connection. But truth is out. You know the truth, but there is an ego here. There is a pride here. You need to overcome that. You may be missing an opportunity or someone see, if you're trying to give someone an opportunity, an offer, someone sees your offer, but they may be nurturing themselves. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles, slow movement toward emotional fulfillment. Someone's independently working on building a foundation nurturing themselves either building their own foundation because this is nine of pentacles this can be your energy here of needing to nurture yourself you could be making adjustments to leave a situation you could be making adjustments to leave a situation but there is some fear here um maybe due to a third party if you're dealing with a taurus there's fear of a third party i have two signs here very prominent here three signs now but this is 
this is in your subconscious, so I don't think this is a, a sign. I think this is a, you needing to make a decision. So either you need to make a decision and this is on your mind or a decision has been made and this is on your mind and you're not happy about the decision. Off top, I see that. You're not happy about the decision. The decision may have been for someone, someone may have made a decision to nurture themselves. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles gain their independence, nurturing themselves. If not, someone is confident about moving toward emotional fulfillment or toward a cycle. Something, this is something that has had a lot of time invested into it. Um, so someone is maybe nurturing something that brings them emotional fulfillment, emotional value, something that has been worked on, maybe a situation that has been worked on, but someone is buckling down and making some movements to go toward their emotional fulfillment. Adjustments being made here. So why is the Four of Cups here? Why is this Four of Cups here? Someone's worried here about a relationship. Let me get these up. There's six cups here, so there may be children involved, maybe money issues. Um, hmm. Someone is not communicating. Um, someone is, someone is not communicating, ending, someone's ending this situation. Knight of Cups, balancing their emotions, moving forward, finding balance, moving forward, Ace of Swords. So someone wants truth to illusion. <sighs> You're not happy because someone's moving to a new cycle or a new relationship or a new life um, because they found out the truth of something that was hidden. And maybe an offer, maybe there was an offer being made. Someone found out the truth about that. Maybe there was something of emotional value. Someone found out the truth. Um, there's a detachment that is happening here because someone feels burdened by a situation, by the imbalances within the situation, maybe even codependencies. So yes, if this was a past situation that someone has left, you're hoping for, uh, you're extending your energy out and hoping for a, a reunion here. But someone's made a decision. A decision's been made. Uh, someone sees your offer, like literally. Four of Cups. They see your offer, but they're not biting. Now, if this is, this may be someone else, you see their offer, but you're not biting. Um, because you're disappointed or you're heartbroken about whatever has happened in the past. The codependencies, the fear, the ego. You may be dealing with someone that has a big ego. But truth, you're going through a karmic test. Like, this is the test. You've been through the cycle. You've learned what you need to learn. This is the test. Don't allow your ego to keep you stuck. And I'm saying stuck because emotionally, you can get stuck waiting for a return. You need to extend your energy out and have some fun. Enjoy yourself. Why do we have judgment here? What's the decision? Why is judgment here? judgment here someone's resisting being in suspension being at an imbalance um someone's resisting secrets so listen <laughs> you may be making a decision to wait um to resist going within yourself you feel imbalanced so instead of coming up with a positive resolution to the issues like I'm telling you, because you're doing this now, you're allowing your fear or your pride to keep you from an opportunity. This could be something that is celebratory. Um, this is a celebration. This is something that is celebratory. Someone's moving forward here, extending their energy toward whatever makes them happy. Um, I don't know if this is celebratory for you or this is celebratory for someone else, because if this is celebratory from someone else, your pride is hurt by a decision that has been made um, for someone to nurture a relationship, to make adjustments and move forward, gain some type of structure. There's a change that has happened. So you may be in suspension, um, going within yourself, trying to figure out what, what you missed. You need to stand in your power, understand that not everything is worth your rebuttal, not everything is worth your time, not everything is worth you putting forth more effort into the situation. Remove the ego, remove the fear, live. Live to the best of your abilities. Make your life celebratory. Capricorn, Capricorn. Some of y'all may be dealing with Capricorn. Why is this 
double here in the middle of the reed. Why is this double here in the middle of the reed? Lover's card here. Decision. Whew. Whew. So, yeah. There's a fear. Okay. If the decision has not been made, and I just saw 1010, so that is an end. If the decision has not been made, the decision is being made. Because someone is within themselves, hermit card here, or someone is healing past whatever karma they had within the situation making a decision here lover's card four of wands to gain their complete their, to gain their independence because they feel like a cycle is complete so someone's deciding to choose independence or someone or someone is confident in making a decision to go towards something that is stable either way it go they're independent so there is a movement from a situation um make your life celebratory don't don't put your feelings or don't pull all your eggs in one basket. Like, don't. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, emotionally, whatever the situation this is in, either out of pride or out of fear, you're not making a decision. You're not extending your energy. Um, and you're upset by a decision that has been made. So you really need to kind of take it with a upon yourself to pass this test because the test is about you choosing what's within the best of your vibration for yourself and not having your ego stand in the way of you progressing to the next stage of your emotional or spiritual life so let's see what messages we have for cancer scorpio pisces messages for cancer scorpio pisces what messages do we have for cancer scorpio pisces Compassion here. Mm -hmm. It says releasing. Yep. Na na na. Some of you guys were hoping for a miracle. This is the thing. You're hoping for a miracle, and you are, and you are gonna get a miracle. But you need to change your perspective because some of you guys have been hoping to mend a situation that was not meant for you, that is not meant for you, that you need to move forward into something else. You need to have compassion with yourself. Release any judgments about yourself. Even if this doesn't look the way that you want it to look, make it feel the way you want it to feel. Not the situation. Make your life feel the way you want it to feel. With prosperity, understand that the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. You need to remove yourself from harsh relationships, from harsh environments, situations, and chemicals. And understand that the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Be honest with you, it's underneath, so it has been handled in a fair and just manner. You are going to get what you desire. You just got to remove the object and just allow the energy to flow. This is all I have. Peace, y'all.